The main mover and shaker behind the change of law and attitudes is Sri Lanka's turtle conservation project. I went to meet its leader, Tushan Kaprasinghe, who's devoted his life to saving turtles. Here you can see, see this beautiful creature. It's a hawksbill turtle. Yeah. And we, when we received the animal, both these flippers were like uh, just joining by the small tiny piece of flesh. Oh. So we had to cut it and then we uh, still you can see the yeah, stitches. I can see yeah, them. yeah, stitches. Is that and, a stitch? Yeah. So the nylon must really have to cut through. Yes, because actually they come to the net for feeding because they eat the fish uh, oh. there. So, and sometimes not only that, fishermen chop the heads of sea turtles and we see oh. many turtles just floating with a lot of bleeding and also uh, their skull can be seen with uh, broken pieces. Oh. And so, uh, yeah, so this is just a single example of how difficult for sea turtles to survive from fishing nets. Yeah. And every single day we get turtles like this. I was sad to see the turtles' injuries close up. It's great that Tushan and his team advise fishermen on the best way to release trapped turtles, but I know that around the world there are hundreds of thousands of nets and tens of thousands of turtles that need our help. <laughs>